Good day everyone. Good morning grade 8. So we are now in our week 11 lesson and the objectives of this lesson is you will be able to illustrate a system of linear equations in two variables, graph a system of linear equations in two variables, and categorize when a given system of linear equations in two variables has graphs that are parallel, intersecting, and coinciding. Okay, so let's start. But before that, uh, I want you to get a piece of paper and then draw a pair of lines on your paper. Okay, so you need to draw a pair of lines. Okay, are you done? Okay, so try to look at these lines on the board. So, um, so kindly check if may ka mo di any of these pair nga the same sa inyo nga drawing. So, as we can see, the first pair of lines intersect at exactly one point. Then, the second pair of lines fails to intersect each other. And the third pair of lines happens to coincide with each other. So, mga mga ganit coincide, amun na sila, nagsampawanay sila nga dua. These pairs of lines are the possible graphs of the systems of linear equations in two variables. So, uh, this is what we call the systems of linear equations in two variables. Okay, so our topic for today is about graphing systems of linear equations. So, we are going to use the graphing method. A system of equations is a set of two or more equations using the same variables. So, here is an example of a system of linear equations. So, we have x plus y equals 5. So, take note, a linear equation, dapat ang degree of highest exponent is 1. So, ang exponent ni x is 1, ang exponent ni y is 1. So, therefore, our first equation is an example of linear equation. Next uh, example, we have here 2x plus 3y equals 15. So, the exponent of x here is 1. And the exponent of y here is also 1. So, therefore, 2x plus 3y equals 15 is an example of linear equation. So, recall that the solution of an equation is an ordered pair that satisfies the given equation. The same applies to the system of linear equations. The solution set of a system contains all the ordered pairs that satisfy all the equations in the system at the same time. So, uh, if it satisfies both equations, then therefore, uh, that is what we call the solution set. Okay, so let's have here an example. Check whether the given pair is a solution to the system. So, we have here number one pair of linear equation, we have x plus y equals 5 and 2x minus y equals 4. So we have given here an assumed ordered pair or solution set. So we assume that uh, 3.32 or the ordered pair 32 is the solution to our uh, system. So we have here substitute the given ordered pair to x and y in the two equations. So, let's substitute this para ma-determine uh, if it is really the solution set. So, this is our x and y. Okay, so let's substitute x that is 3 and then y is 2. So, we have here 3 plus 2 equals 5. So, 3 plus 2 is 5. So, 5 is equal to 5. Therefore, that is true. Since 5 is equal to itself, 5. Letter B is, let's substitute here the value of x, which is 3. So, we have 2 times 3 minus, then the value of y, that is 2. So, we have equals 4. So, 2 times 3, that is 6, minus 2 equals 4. Then, 4 is equal to 4. Therefore, that is true. So, which means that, uh, 3, 2 is the solution set of these equations. 
So, ila ni nga solution set. Kumbaga, amun ni siya ang point of intersection. So, karon mabalaan ta na mag-graph na pa. Okay, so let's have here another example. 3x plus 2y equals 11 and x plus 5y equals 36. So, let's determine if negative 1 and 7 is the solution set of these equations. So, substitute the given ordered pair. So this is our x. And this is our y. Okay. So, we have 3x. So, substitute the value of x, which is negative 1, plus 2, times the value of y, which is 7. So that's y negative 7, d equals 11. So, 3 times negative 1, that is negative 3. Wait lang. So, this is negative 3 plus 2 times 7, that is 14, equals 11. So, negative 3 plus 14, that is 11. So, 11 is equal to 11, that is true. Next, letter B, let's substitute value of x, that is negative 1, plus 5. The value of y is 7. So, let's substitute 7, so y equals 36. So, negative 1 plus 5 times 7, that is 35, equals 36. Negative 1 plus 35, that is positive 34. So, 34 is equal to 36, which is false. Since hindi man equal ang 34, kag ang 36. So, therefore, negative 1, 7 is not a solution to the system. So, kung hindi ganit masatisfies, ang given, tani ba lang uh, solution set, o? Kung hindi masatisfies, ang dua ka equation, therefore, hindi ni sa solution set sang two equations. Okay, now we will use the graphing method in determining the solution set. In solving a system of equations by graphing, we graph the two equations by graphing. We graph the two equations and determine the coordinates of the point of intersection of the two graphs. So, kung magamit kita graphing method, uh, we graph the two lines and then uh, pangita on ta kung diin sila nga duwa nag-intersect or nag-tabuay. So, kung ang point of intersection, ang manasang aton nga solution set. Okay, so let's have here an example. So, solve x plus y equals 4 and 2x minus y equals 2 by graphing. So, for the solution, step 1 is to find the slope and the y-intercept of the two equations. So, given x plus y equals 4, so let's change this into slope and uh, intercept form. So, di ba sa ng slope-intercept form, si y variable, ang wala lang siya mabilin sa left side, and then si x, kag ang constant, ara sa right side, sa equal sign. So, we change this. Okay, so we have x plus y equals 4. So, paano ko ni ma-remove si x? So, we subtract both sides of the equation by x para ma-remove si x equals 4 minus x. So, x minus x, that is 0. So, nabilin y equals 4 minus x or pwede ta na siya i- Rearrange, we have y equals negative x plus 4. So that's why nagimo siya mo ni. Next, we have 2x minus y equals 2. So, paano tani ma-remove si 2x sa left side? So, we subtract both sides of the equation by 2x. So, ma-minus kita di 2x para mahimu ni siya 0. Minus y equals 2. So, this becomes negative y equals ay, nag-subtract ko di gali both sides by 2x. So, we have 2x minus negative y equals 2 minus 2x. Since si y is negative, so we multiply both sides by negative 1. So, this becomes y equals 2x 
minus 2. So, gin rearrange ko lang na di siyang apart. Okay, now we can easily determine the slope and the y-intercept. Since ang slope ta ba that is in the form y equals mx plus b. mx plus b. Okay. So, di bang M, amun ni siyang aton yung slope, and then si B, amun ni siyang aton y-intercept. Since ang tupad nyo variable, or ang tupad nyo number ni x here is negative 1, so therefore, our slope is negative 1. And then for B, our y-intercept is 4. Okay, then, here is our slope, ang M is 2, and then our y-intercept is negative 2. So, dalo nyo gid siya ang sign, ha? So, positive 4, then dali negative 2. Okay, so for step 2 is we will graph the the lines or the equations. So, for uh, for you, para mas suppose mag-graph, you can use a graphing calculator. So, nag-recommend ko that last time, you may use graph uh, GeoGebra in graphing para mas suppose. Okay, so let's graph first the x plus y equals 4. So, ang slope niya is negative 1. So, negative 1, pwede man na siya. Slope is equal to negative 1 over 1. Since negative 1 over 1 is still negative 1. And then, our y-intercept that is in the form 0b. 0b. Okay, so since given the 4, therefore, ang atin nyo y um, intercept is 0, 4. So let's start here with 0, 4. Okay, next, ang atin slope is negative 1, 1. So let's go down 1. 1 unit and then 1 unit to the right. Okay, so 1, then 1, 1, 1, okay. So, um, then you connect these points in order to uh, create a line. Next is, let's graph y equals 2x minus 2. So, our slope here is 2 or pwede man na siya mahimo. Okay, let me erase this. So, ang slope ta is pwede na siya mahimo. 2 over 1 since 2 divided by 1 that is still 2. So, ang atan rise is 2 and then ang atan run is 1. And then for our y-intercept that is 0, negative 2. Take note y-intercept ni si B ha. So, our si x is 0 and then si y ta is negative 2. So, always, gini nga x is 0 sa atin nyo y-intercept. Okay, so let's start with point 0, negative 2, which is our siya. Okay, wait lang if I can create here a straight line. So, I can insert a shape. Okay, so let's create a straight line. Okay, oy. sorry, I can't create a straight line here, perfect straight line. Okay, then we have here, uh, let's start with point 0, negative 2, and then at the rise is 2, and then ang run is one. So let's count two units upward. One, two, and then one units to the right. So we have here. One, two, then one. One, two, then one. One, two, then one. Okay. So let's connect these lines at these points to create a line. Oops. Okay. So, ang point of intersection nila is at point 2, 2. So, therefore, 
the solution set is 0.22. Kung din ganin nag-intersect or di nagtabuhay ang atong duha ka graph, dira ang ilang nga uh, solution set or point of intersection. Okay, so let's have, okay, a system with at least one solution is called a, a consistent system. So take note, at least one solution that is consistent system. If the graphs of the system are two different lines, so since ang atatok ang graph, ang graph tagina is different lines, two do different lines, then the system is called independent system. So take note of these terms. Okay, so let's have another example number two. 6x minus 2y equals 4 and y minus 3x equals negative 5. So, let's solve or let's find its um, solution set. So, for step 1 is find the slope in the y-intercept, then locate the intersection of the two graphs. Okay, so let's change first 6x minus 2y equals 4 into slope-intercept form. So, we have here 6x minus 2y equals 4. So, paano ko ni ma-remove si 6x sa left side? So, we subtract both sides of the equation by 6x. Minus 2y equals 4 minus 6x. Okay, so this becomes 0. So, nabilin is negative 2y equals 4 minus 6x. So, paano ko ni ma-remove si negative 2? Kaya dapat, ang mabilin is only the y variable. Wala na siya po niya number. So, we divide both sides by negative 2. Or, we divide each term by negative 2. Okay, so the answer is y equals... So, 4 divided by negative 2, that is negative 2 minus negative 6x divided by negative 2, that is positive 3x. Okay, so by rearranging, so we have now y equals 3x minus 2. Okay, then, letter B is, you change this into a uh, slope-intercept form. We have y minus 3x equals negative 5. Okay. So, dapat, ang mabilin sa left side is only the y variable. So, nag-add kita both sides. So, since negative 3x, so, anong opposite sa negative 3x? That is the positive 3x. Para mahimo siya 0. Negative 5 plus 3x. Okay, so this becomes now 0. The negative 3x plus, negative, uh, plus 3x that is 0. So, nabilin is y equals negative 5 plus 3x. So, by rearranging, we have now y equals 3x minus 5. Okay, so uh, since the change na nasa into uh, y-intercept or into slope-intercept form, rather, that is in the form of slope-intercept form. So, hapos na na ma-determine ang slope. That is in the form y equals mx plus b. Okay, so ang aton nga slope here is 3, and then our y-intercept is negative 2. And then for here, our slope is 3, and our y-intercept is negative 5. Okay, let's graph this. So let's start with 0, negative 2. So take note, ang slope tanga m equals 3, pwede na siya may mo 3 over 1. Since 3 divided by 1, that is still 3. So, atan nga rise is 3, atan nga run is 1. Let's start with 0, negative 2, that is here. 
Okay, then let's count three, uh, three units upward. Since Saturn slope is positive, dapat ang direction kalain ta nagapaamon siya. Kung positive. So, kung negative naman, ang direction kalain ta nagapanaog. Kung positive, nagapasaka. Okay, so let's count three units upward. One, two, three, and then one unit, uh, one unit to the right. Then three units upward. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. Okay. Next, let's connect this point to create a line. Ay, nako. Buday control. Okay, so let's assume that is a straight line. Next is, let's graph y equals 3x minus 5. So let's start with point 0, negative 5. 0, negative 5, that is here. Okay, so yung slope is 3 over 1. Let's count three units upward and then one unit to the right. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, then one. One, two, three, then one. Okay, so let's create a straight line. I wish I could use a, rul a ruler in here. Okay, so let's assume that it's a straight line. Okay, so by connecting these points, we can create a straight line. So, Ms. K extend Kunisha infinitely, there's no chance that these two lines can intersect. So, take note, they have the same slope, which is 3. A system with no solution is called an inconsistent system. Since the graphs are two different lines, then the system is an independent system. So, uh, I want to add here that if there are given lines or equations, linear equations have the same slope. So, kung parehas gani ang slope sa dua ka linear equations, therefore, wala na sila solutions because they are parallel lines. So, magambal kita parallel lines. These are lines that do not intersect. So, miski ano ko to ka-extend sa dua ka lines, they will never intersect to each other because they are parallel lines since they have the same slope. So, let's have here an example number 3. 8x minus 4y equals 12 and 4x minus 2y equals 6. So, find the solution of the inter and the y-intercept of the two equations. So, we change this into slope-intercept form. We have y equals 2x minus 3. And then, for 4x minus 2y equals 6, that is y equals 2x minus 3. Okay, so our slope here is 2. And then, our y-intercept is negative 3. Our slope here is 2. And then... Our y-intercept is negative 3. So, let's graph this. Let's start with point 0, negative 3. Since this is negative 3. And then, atom slope is, ang rise ta, that is 2. And then, atom run is 1. Let's start with point 0, 3. Okay, so let's count two units upward and one unit to the right. One, two, then one. One, two, then one. One, two, then one. One. Okay, so let's use a... Oops. Ay, naka. Can control my mouse. Okay. 
okay and then let's graph also 4x minus 2 y equals 6 let's start with point 0 negative 3 which is also here and then yes look is 2 to 1 also 2 over 1 so we have 1 2 so the same so we have the same line a system with fun, uh, with finite solutions is called a consistent system. Since the graphs of the equations are the same, then the system is called dependent system. So if you notice kagina ang atin graph, uh, ang atin nga line is the same, parehas ng ila, slope, parehas man ang line. So that is what we call dependent system. And it has a finite solution since... Um, they intersect in many points. So, may aras na damo ang common points. So, that is why it is called a consistent system. So, remember, a system of equations is a set of two or more equations using the same variables. The solution set of a system contains all or ordered pairs that satisfy all the equations of the system at the same time. Okay, so that's all. If you have questions, kindly message me to our group chat and thank you for listening. Kindly submit your week 9 and week 10 answers on Friday. Thank you.